Hello everyone welcome to our channel, today we will create a perspective section in the fifth episode of our series for architects learning how to use Procreate. We will start from a simple section drawing and will create this look step by step. Let's start with checking out the guide options we have in Procreate. First toggle on the drawing guide and tap on edit drawing guide. By default the grid will appear. Go to layers menu and tap on the thumbnail of the layer to activate the drawing guide on this layer. This grid is helpful when you draw a section or a plan drawing. Check our previous videos to see how to create a plan drawing from scratch in Procreate. Isometric grid is helpful to create isometric 3D drawings and diagrams easily along the axes of X, Y, and Z. We showed how this grid works in our first video very quickly, but we will make a more detailed tutorial soon. In Perspective Grid, you need to tap on screen to create a vanishing point first. This will activate a one-point perspective guide for you. One-point perspective lets you look from front view and see depth lines going towards the same vanishing point. This is the guide we will be using for this video. If you add one more vanishing point, you can activate a two-point perspective guide. With this guide, you can create a drawing as if you are looking from a corner of the building. In our previous video, we mentioned how it can be useful briefly. Finally, if you continue and add one more vanishing point, then you will create a three-point perspective. You can see this in architectural photography quite often. But it is not super common in architectural drawings because it causes more distortion. These are all the types of drawings you can produce in Procreate with the help of drawing guides. Today, we will focus on perspective section drawing with one-point perspective. Let's start the drawing process with importing the section drawing. Tap the import button and choose the file you want to import. You can download this section we import here in the description box below to follow this tutorial step by step. You can see a dot in the middle of the drawing here. This is where we will place the vanishing point for the perspective guide. Let's activate the drawing guide. Choose perspective guide and tap on the screen. Once the blue dot appears you can relocate it anywhere you want on the screen. We will put it exactly on top of this dot. I am dropping the opacity for this layer and renaming it as the reference layer. I am gonna lock this so I won't be able to accidentally draw on it. I am creating a new layer to draw over. We created this monochromatic palette in order to use in this drawing. You can find this on the description box below as well. Activate the drawing guide and start drawing over the cut lines of this section. These lines are what we see as the front view and they need to be thicker and more defined than the rest. Now we can start to give some depth to this drawing, create a new layer, activate the drawing guide, and start connecting the edges of the cut lines to the vanishing point. The depth is up to you, but do not forget the further the space goes back, the more distortion occurs. I decide somewhere here and connect all the surfaces. I connect the lines to the vanishing point on the upper floor as well. There is a room at the back, so the depth is gonna be less prominent here. Everything parallel to my point of view has no distortion. Therefore, I see the slope of the roof same all around this room. I draw a line tracing over the roof and copy it around. I carry this line representing the separation of the glass part to where it belongs at the back of the room. This layer became somewhat of a draft layer, so I create a new layer to trace with clean lines and intersections this time. Let's draw where the building touches ground as well. You can toggle on and off the drawing layer whenever you want. You don't need to worry about losing the vanishing point. Procreate remembers where you left off. I am drawing the horizon line to give depth to ground level as well. We are done with creating the outlines for this drawing. 
Now we can start coloring and painting inside these outlines. I am using the quick selection tool to select and fill inside these walls. I continue with the same method to color fill inside the building and ground. I also color fill the frames of the windows with freehand selection tool to bring some definition around those areas. I select the glass areas with freehand selection tool one by one, then I cut and pass these areas to a new layer to drop the opacity. I add patterns over the filled areas to create some visual differentiation. I use clipping mask to easily fill the required areas. Diagonal pattern over the cut walls, and small rock pattern on the ground. You can find all the patterns, furniture, tree and human figure brushes used in this drawing in the content bundle we prepared. You can find the link in the description box below. While color filling, I use quick selection tool and soft airbrush to create shades on different surfaces inside the building. This will enhance the 3D effect we want to create here. Now we can start to fill the interior space with furniture. While doing that, we can play with the compositions as we want. All we need to do is to keep the vanishing point in mind and in which direction the lines go towards that. If you want to use the same stamp brushes, you can find them in the bundle we created for this drawing. Check the link below and our website for this bundle and more Procreate content we created for architects. I merge all the layers of furniture and use quick selection tool to select the outer space and then invert that selection to fill inside the furniture layer. This is a trick you can use to color fill inside a lot of elements at once. I continue applying same method on singular elements as well. I pay attention to the front-back relation these layers have among each other. I add these columns and the ones at the back. Then I start placing some human figures to bring some life to the whole section. I apply the same method as before, selecting the background and inverting the selection to fill inside all the outlines. Now, I can start adding some details to the background as well. I add sun and clouds to the sky, and in the city silhouette at the horizon. I blur the horizon line with Gaussian blur to have this further away effect. I add a variety of trees around the building to create the lively context that I was imagining this building in. The trees also create a nice frame for the whole composition that we were working on. Lastly, I start adding small details such as drawing the foundation lines, adding a lamp over the fireplace, and a floor lamp by the armchair, painting the parasol on the balcony, drawing a curtain for the bedroom window, adding a painting on the wall by the shelves. You can add all sorts of small details that you imagine in this space. While drawing these you can always rely on a perspective grid. It will make things easier.
I add some vegetation on the balcony and around the building. I try to create a natural look, while doing that it is possible to go over in some place. But do not worry as we are working on a separate layer, it is super easy to clean the excess. When I feel the drawing is ready, I take an export and import that into this file. As a final touch, I try the gradient maps, and choose this one to enhance the contrast in the drawing. I drop the opacity, so it looks more natural. And this is how we created this final look. Thank you for watching. We will keep exploring iPad architecture one step at a time. See you on the next Procreate tutorial.